Staff Sergeant Michael Saravia has served nine years in the U.S. Marines. He was first stationed in San Diego, then North Carolina. He arrived in Chicago November of 2020. He will finish his time in Chicago later this year and then wait for his next assignment. And joining us this morning, Staff Sergeant Michael Saravia, his wife Sabrina, and his beautiful daughter Riley. We are so happy to have you all this Thanks morning. Thanks for coming. Happy Thank Fourth. You. Happy Fourth of July. So, Michael, you moved, correct me if I'm wrong, but to the United States when you were 21. Yes, that's correct. Then you joined the military. Can you talk about that and kind of just in transition to what the Fourth of July now means to you? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I came from a different country. Then uh, I came to the United States, just looking for you know more opportunities. Then I had the opportunity to join the the Marines, and I I took it like pretty fast. I had to do some paperwork, but now I'm I'm here serving in the military and the Marines. Free, I like it, so I'm trying to do it as as many years as I can. That's wonderful. We really appreciate your service. Did you know that you wanted to join the Marines when you moved to America? Not exactly. I wanted to join the military, but uh, no, I didn't know it was going to be the Marines. And then one day I was at uh, one of those state fairs, and I did the, the different testing, the Army and the Marines. I was like, no, I'm going Marines. You must have been Marines. pretty good at the oh, test, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's not easy for you guys, Sabrina and Riley. How it is it moving around, always being in new places? Is that hard? It, it has its challenges, but it's, it's, it's pretty easy for us. We get used to it, and, you know, he's, we're just glad to be with him, and it's... Have you enjoyed your time day. in Chicago? Uh huh. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite part of living in Chicago, Riley? Um, it's when I see all the butterflies in Illinois. <laughs> the butterflies are so fun, aren't they? Do you yeah. ever try to catch them? <laughs> mm, nah, not really. They're kind of a little too fast. They're so fast. Can you tell me something really cool about your dad? Yeah, he's part of the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> he must be pretty strong then, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Riley, we have a surprise, not for your mom or dad today. We actually have a surprise for you today. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> mm -hmm. you, oh, you know that there's a surprise for you? Uh-huh. What, you do you know what it's going to be? Uh, no. Why don't you look over, look over here? Look over there. What you... is that, Riley? <gasps> A new bite. What the heck? Do you want to go look at it? Uh-huh. Be very careful. Jump on down. So, Riley, these are high school students. Joe Trost, Trost excuse me, do you want to explain what happened and how you guys became part of this? Yeah, so these are student athletes from Providence High School. <gasps> uh, it's Thornwood, Thornton, Washington, out of the city. Uh, it's basically, She's up. Look at there, there you go. Uh, <laughs> through the power go ahead and ride around, Riley. Continue, uh, Joe. Sorry. Yeah, through, through the power of sports, it brings student athletes together. Uh, to make a difference in the lives of others. So April is month of the military child. May is National Bike Month. So that's when student athletes buy and build the bikes. And we wanted to hold one for the 4th of July, not only to recognize the staff sergeant, but for military children. People at times forget you know, the, the challenges that military children go through. You know, if you think about it, they've lived in San Diego, North Carolina, Chicago. They're gonna be moving again at the end of the year. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a great, great opportunity to create a lifelong memory, you know, not only for his daughter, but also to thank the staff starter. We are so thankful uh, for you and for these amazing students for helping her out. Staff Sergeant Michael Sarabia, your beautiful wife, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your service. She's already blowing kisses. We got to find a parade for her to be in today. <laughs> Riley, what do you think, man? Yeah, maybe someday. Yeah, yeah. Some uh -huh. Uh -huh. parade. Give everybody that kiss and wave. I don't think they saw it. That was cool. All right. Kiss, wave kiss. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank, thank you, you so much, you guys. This is fabulous. Thank you so much.